Okay, here's how we create a show from scratch. I like to go up to File and then Wizard, and I will say no. Okay, the Wizard is a great way to get started if you're new to Visual Communicator. They offer a bunch of options, but I'm going to go with the first one to create a show based on a style. And then I'll go Next. Now you get to pick the style or the theme from all these different choices that they have. So of course, each time you click on one, it updates down here to show you what it might look like. So for now, I'm going to go with the digital theme, and then I'll go Next. We get to choose how the opening slate, the opening graphic, looks from three different colors. We get to put what it says, and for this one, I'm going to type in, say it is our famous caring message project. It's a second line. Okay, very easy to change this later if you have to. And then we choose the look for our lower third graphic from three different choices here. I'm going to go with the green one and put in my name. And the second line, if you'd like to put in something specific. Okay, and again, you can always change that later. Now I will go next. We have to choose the vScreen background. Now these are the uh, images that show up behind you. And of course, there are hundreds to choose from, but they're just keeping it simple by showing you just three of them. So let's say we go with the blue one like that. I get to choose some music, and to hear what these sound like, you hit the button right here. All right, I'll just go with that. And uh, choose the look for your closing slate, so when it finishes. And I'll stick with my green theme, and I'll just keep thanks for watching in there at the end. Now by hitting finish, what Visual Communicator is doing is creating a donut. In Hollywood terms, it's called a donut, because it's just missing the middle. You've got the beginning and you've got the ending. The beginning opens up with our opening slate with music, and then it'll fade to our camera one, and there you'll see me, okay? And then it goes to our lower third tray with our name, and there it is. And then, of course, this is where you talk about your show, okay? You would plug in your script right in the middle here, and then you'd finish off with the ending, okay? So let me show you now how to put in the script. To save time, I've already pre-typed up my script in a Word document, so I'm just going to copy. And this is exactly what my students do. We will copy it from here, and now switch back to Visual Communicator. And I'm just going to highlight on top of all this, and I'm going to paste. And there's my script. Now I need to line it up. The first time I appear on camera is right there. So it needs to say good morning in the pink bar right there. So this is what we call adjusting your script. You just simply put the cursor and hit enter a few times just so that I begin talking right when, and I'll scroll to it, right when I'm on camera. Right equal with my camera one tray, there's my words in the pink bar. Okay. I need to adjust the end to make sure that that's in the right spot so I can move all the trays together by doing this. And I'm going to finish talking right about there, so I'll drop it there. Okay, now what I want to put in is what I call a text slate. So while I'm saying my quote, which is right here, I want my viewers to be able to see that quote, and I require my students to do this. So let's go to the Styles tab, and I believe it was digital that I picked. And again, Visual Communicator comes with about 30 styles to choose from. I'm going to scroll down until I find a text slate. I'll stick with the green theme here. Let's go with that one, and watch this. I just drop it in place, and it makes a new tray. Now, I'm going to be lazy here. I'm going to just copy the text. I'll go here to click on that, and then go down to Edit. And now I can just simply paste my text right in there, or, of course, type it in and hit Done. And now my graphic is there. Now, it's going to come to my slate just like that when I get to that point. I want to come back on camera somewhere down in here. So I'm going to go to the Videos tab, I'm going to grab a camera one tray, and plop it right in. So I'll come back on camera about there. All right, so my next step now, before I want to rehearse, is to check what my vScreen looks like. vScreen, of course, is the background behind you. Right now, you just see the green wall. I'm going to go and hit Active, and there it is. Puts in the graphic that you have there. Now, if I want to put a different one in, I'm going to just choose one from what's already here. You just drag, and you drop and it replaces the background like so. Okay, so it's real easy to change that. So we are ready to rehearse. Here's what I will do. I will hit rehearse, and I'm going to read when the words are in the pink bar.
Good morning, Amherst Middle School. This is John and Stacy with today's caring message. Discussions can be steps toward peace. This means blah, 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 blah. And of course, I'd be reading the script. And I'm just going to go through the script real quickly here. And for Amherst Tech TV, this is Rob Z. Thanks for watching. Okay, so it's as easy as that. What I want to show you a nice feature here is, is if you're really far away, like I am right now, I can go to Settings, Application Settings, and choose to display the teleprompter full screen. Watch what happens now when I rehearse. You see it goes, it fills up the complete screen, so you can see it from a distance. And now, good morning Amherst Middle School, this is John and Stacy with today's caring message. So the advantage now is you have it full screen, and it makes it easier for your newscasters to see from a distance sitting away. All right, next what I want to show you, oops, we're not going to do that. Okay, let me show you how easy it is to change things now. I'm going to use this first tray as an example. Let's say I don't like that style anymore. If I want to pick something different, I'll just go to the Styles tab. Let's go to Film. Sure, we'll go with that one. And it's as easy as just dragging and dropping on top right like that and it keeps the words it just changes the look of it so it's that easy to change it now if I want to change the words in there here's what I do I go down to edit and I can change what's on the first line and hit the double arrows and change the second line of course put in whatever you'd like there so that's how you change the words that are in a tray also to change the music I'm gonna double click to show you what this one is Okay. Stop that from playing. If I want to change the music, here is what you do. Go to the Audio tab. Visual Communicator comes with uh, hundreds of audio clips. If I go to something under, let's say, High Energy, these are all anywhere from 5 to 10 seconds long. You can just double click on them to hear them play. And if I want to use it, I just drag it and drop it on top of that little speaker icon. I can even then change the volume of it to make it a little bit louder and I can even trim it if I think it's a little bit too long. You can do fade ins and fade outs. Okay. Finally, I want to talk about the effect. If I double click on something, let me do this one here so you can see it. See how it fades in? That's called a dissolve, this purplish icon here. The video effects tab comes with hundreds more of effects if you choose to go with. If I want to go with a double box, for example, you just drag and drop right on top and here's what it would look like now. This one is a double box, pulls away in the corner, and it comes out to that. To see what all these video effects look like, I like to tell my students, just go ahead and double click on any one of them, and it will give you an instant preview of what it would look like. And there's all sorts of different styles that are really neat. Uh, a lot of students really like these sparks, because they have clouds and smoke and all sorts of uh, pixelized looking uh, items. Okay, so that's it. That's how you create a show using the wizard. Once again, you find that under File, Wizard, and they give you a whole bunch of options right here to go with. And that's it.